good morning my dear students i hope you are doing well so here i have brought part 3 and the, this is the last part of our chapter 3 which is synthetic fiber and plastic class 8 subject science by your sonali teacher i hope you will enjoy this as it is so much of fun discussing varieties of plastics whenever i say a plastic there are n number of item might appear in front of your eyes and from morning to evening whatever materials that we are using in our daily life out of them 80 percentage are made of out of plastic so you can imagine that how important the plastic is in our daily routine and and that is the reason that we have to no or we have to learn that where does this plastic come from and how it is prepared what are its uses or benefits and is it harmful to us so let's discuss about all this in our coming presentation now plastic is also like a polymer in my first part i discuss you that the small units of chemicals are called the polymer so even plastic is made up of small polymer like a synthetic fiber you can see in the figure a all the polymers are in the sequence or you can say in a linear positions they are in a line but you can see in figure b that all the polymers are in the branch position so they are further multiply in again and again so all the plastic do not have the same type of arrangements of unit in some they are linear as we have seen here in figure a whereas in some they are cross link or branch so the plastic articles are available in all possible shape and size because of this property you can even make a pen pin mug bucket and even a rooftop out of plastic because of this characteristics that it can be linear or it can be cross link so in examination they can ask the question to you that which are the ways or by what two ways the plastic is available so you can write the answer that the first it can be available in the linear form or it is it is form in the linear form and the second it can be made with the cross link form or the branch form so these are the two major categories out of which the polymer of plastic is produced now plastic as we discuss that it is widely accepted and widely widely used material because of its versatility now they are sometimes so light so we can easily carry them but sometimes they are so durable that they can carry an entire entire adult like if i sit on a chair they they just they they withstand that weight so and at the same time that moving that plastic chair is the easier task even a uh, even a small baby can do that but at the same time if i go for the wooden chair it will be so difficult for a person to move that wooden chair around so because of all this properties plastic has gained wide wide popularity and it is used to prepare so many items which are countless you can just count the items you just see in your surroundings you might see the shampoo bottles or water bottles you might have seen the pens you might have seen the cosmetics you might have seen uh, your covers like your uh, your automobile covers you might have seen your toothbrush and so many so many stuff Uh, even your school bag covers and your notebook covers there are n number of items which are prepared using plastic so because the first unique characteristic is it is easy to mold so the fact that the plastic is easily moldable that means you just uh, put the hot or the semi solid plastic in any mold it take the shape of that mold that is that can be shaped in a many forms plastic can be recycled now here the question is like if plastic can be recycled why we have recently face a ban on the plastic bag 
बिकॉज सर्टन काइंड ऑफ प्लास्टिक कैन बी रिसाइकल नॉट ऑल काइंड ऑफ प्लास्टिक कैन बी रिसाइकल सो वी माइट रिसीव सम बैग्स एंड ऑन दोज बैग यू माइट हैव रेड दैट दिस इज रिसाइकलेबल प्लास्टिक सो दैट काइंड ऑफ प्लास्टिक इज ओनली रिसाइकलेबल रीयूज येस यू कैन रीयूज योर प्लास्टिक बैग अगेन एंड अगेन दे आर क्वाइट ड्यूरेबल कलर यू कैन कलर देम वेल melted as we talk that they can be melt and they can be molded in a different shape they can be rolled into the sheets now you might have seen some fiber sheets or some uh, some uh, some your window sheets that they, they they protect you from the heavy sunlight this all sheets are prepared from the plastic or made into the wires now whatever your charge pins or charger wires are they are quite insulating so they are made out of plastic because inside the heavy electricity is flowing so as human body is a good conductor of electricity we don't want that we get the shock so that wires are quite insulating with the uh, with the help of plastic so that is why we it find that such variety of uses so there is no introduction needed for the plastic you already know that how beautifully and how nicely this plastic are converted into the varieties of uh, varieties of uh, household items and so many other stuff that it has gained a large popularity now uh, let's talk about the major two types of plastic now here earlier we have discussed about the types of plastic on the based of its structure that whether it is branch or whether it is linear now here we will discuss about the two types of plastic based on its characteristic now what is this characteristic now let's say we have two type of plastic one if you mold it you heat it and you mold it it takes the shape fix now even if you apply more heat it will not change its shape at the other other side the other type of plastic if you heat it it will starts it will start melting and then you mold it after freezing it will take some shape and again if you provide a heat to them they will start melting so you might have seen certain toys even on heating again and again they don't change their shape at the same time some toys which are quite light in material that on heating they might start getting melting melted so this is the two major difference on which the plastic is categorized so the first category is thermoplastic and the second category is thermo setting plastic now let's discuss about this when we add hot water to a plastic bottle it gets deformed let's say a simple uh, bisleri bottle at your home you just pour some boiled water to it and you will see that the plastic bottle starts squeezing because that plastic is not so durable and so hard in nature such plastic which gets deform easily on heating can be bent also easily this plastics are called the thermoplastic now suppose in my home at my home i have two types of bucket one bucket is so sturdy that i can't change its shape but one bucket was so weak by nature that it got easily bent if i apply certain pressure so the one which the one which i can change its shape just by eating or by applying pressure this kind of plastic is called the thermoplastic so the which are the examples for thermoplastic are polythene and pvc are the example of thermoplastic now you already know the thermo uh, polythene that if you heat a polythene at your home it starts melting and it will change its shape pvc now certain pvc pipes are there they are not so durable they also come under the category of thermoplastic so at your home if you have three or four uh, so three or four articles made out of plastic you can apply certain heat to them be cautious while doing this activity and see if the plastic starts melting that means it is thermoplastic if that plastic does not melt or demold that is that is thermo setting plastic now on the other hand there are certain plastic when molded once cannot be softened again by heating these are called the thermo setting plastic so thermo setting plastics are generally expensive because they come with the durable property and also they have strength 
that they will not change their shape even on heating. Their examples are bakelite and melamine. Now this name seems so new but you already use bakelite and melamine every day. Now whatever your switchboards or your chargers they are made up of the plastic which is called the bakelite. Your switchboards or your switches they are bakelite and melamines. So those are the cup and saucers or some crockery or some, some household decorative piece they are made up out of melamine. Now as I told you bakelite that is the uh, that is uh, actually we are using bakelite for mainly for the switchboard purpose that all the switch and switchboards and some uh, mobile body the body of mobile is also made out of bakelite even it is used in so many other articles so bakelite is a poor conductor of heat it will not allow heat and electricity to pass through it so we are using them for the electrical gadgets it is used for making electrical switches handles of various utensils. Now you have saucepan or kadai at your home. If that kadai is having handle, that handle is made up of bakelite. So that what happens while cooking, that handle will not get heated. So you can easily hold that handle and you can stir your vegetables. So that is the reason that we are using bakelite in the electrical gadgets or as the handle of so many so many various utensils. You, you can also list some other examples of bakelite which you find in your surroundings. Now melamine, as I told you that melamine is nothing but your cup or saucer. So whatever tea, milk, coffee that you drink in the material that is nothing but the melamine and that is the reason that when you put some hot tea in the melam uh, melamine cup or in, in your tea cup that can, uh, that can stay hot or warmer for longer period of time because it is quite insulating. It will not allow heat to pass to the surroundings. So the melamine is very mat uh, versatile material, it resists fire and it can tolerate heat better than the other plastic. So we can store or we can serve our hot meal in the melamine, uh, melamine crockeries. It is also used for making floor tiles. Now you might have seen some floor tiles which are made up of, made out of melamine, kitchenware and the fabric which resists fire. Now here I am talking about the fabric which has been used by the fire workers or the fire station people because generally they rescue the people who are stuck in the fire. So their materials or their dress or their dress codes or their jackets are made of the material or the fabric which is nothing but the melamine because they can be saved from that vigorous heat while doing the rescue task. So whenever now you will see any cup or saucer or you will see any crockery what you will remember is you will remember it is a melamine and whenever you will see any switchboard or any wire you will remember that nothing but it is the bakelite plastic. Now, uh, let's discuss why so plastic are so important part of our life and in what other ways it is useful to us. Now, being lighter as compared to metal. Now, suppose you have a chair of metal and you have a chair made up of plastic. So, one which is easy to maintain because metal can be corroded, it can change a shape, it can change a, change a color and it needs a polishing. At the same time, the plastic chair is free of maintenance. So if you compare that way, you will always prefer the items which are made up out of plastic over the items which are made out of metals or the wooden. So that is the reason this plastics are used in the car, aircrafts and spacecrafts too. You have seen the Mission Mangal movie in that you might have seen that a material or of that, uh, that uh, synthetic fiber, it was made out of synthetic fiber which was woolen that could self repair itself. So because of this wide varieties and wide characteristics, we choose again and again plastic over the natural, uh, natural material or even the metals. The list is endless. If we start counting the articles like slippers, furniture, decoration, decorative pieces, we will find a thousand of materials which are made out of plastic because of 
its unique properties. Now, first property that I want to discuss here it is it is non-reactive. Now, this is very important question for exam that they ask why uh, why plastics are popular. State its property. The first property it is non-reactive. So, whenever you go to any labs, you know how you have seen the syringes. They are made out of plastic. You have seen those glucose bottle or the water bottles, even those uh, drips, they are made out of plastic because they are non-reactive. They will not react with any other substance present over there. So, all the research, research tool or the lab materials or lab tools, they are made up of plastic. Metals like iron get easily rusted when left in the moisture and air. You know that this process is called the corrosion. So, the metal can be easily corroded, but at the same time plastic do not react with the water or the air. So, they are not corroded easily. That is why they are used to store various kinds of material including many chemicals. So, acids or base, even stronger acid and stronger base are stored with the strong plastic container. Second property, plastic is light at the same time quite strong and durable. Since plastic is very light, you can easily move. I gave you example of chair, the plastic chair even a small baby can move. At the same time, you see the metal or the wooden chair needs lot of effort to move. So, plastic is very light at the same time strong, durable and can be molded into different shapes and size. So, it is used for various purposes. You can easily wash that plastic chair, but you cannot wash easily that wooden chair or the metal chair. Because if you will wash the metal chair, there is a chances that it starts getting corrosion. Now, it is used for various purposes. Plastics are generally cheaper than the metal. If you go and buy a plastic chair, that will, uh, that will cost you 1000 rupees or so. But if you go and buy a wooden or a metal chair, that will cost you much, much more than the plastic chair. They are widely used in the industries for the household articles. Yes, so you just see in your furniture or you just see something, a decorative piece or you just go to mall, you might find n number of things which are or the jars or the food process or the food packets, they are made out of plastic because the second very important characteristic which is plastic is light, strong and durable. Third, plastics are the poor conductor. You remember we discussed about the bakelite that why the chargers and the electrical gadgets are made out of bakelite because they will not allow heat or electri electricity to pass. As they are the poor conductor of heat and electricity, even you remember those utensils, handles that we are using whenever your mama is cooking, she prepares food in the kadhai which is which is which which handle is quite of bakelite or uh, or some pla some other kind of plastic especially the pressure cooker one you see their handles are actually metal but above that metal they are covered with the bakelite so while handling them you don't feel so warm or you don't get that direct heat plastics are the poor conductor of heat and electricity so that is why electrical wires have plastics covering and handles of screwdrivers are also made of plastic. As mentioned above, handles of frying pans are also made of plastic. So, this is the third again important property that they are a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Now, let us discuss how plastic and environment go along. As you already know that certain plastic you cannot recycle, so they come under non-biodegradable criteria, but whereas certain plastic are quite recyclable, so they come under the biodegradable material. So, we will always prefer to choose a plastic which is made up of biodegradable material, but we will avoid choosing plastic which is non-biodegradable material because this non-biodegradable material plastic will not get easily recycled in the nature. So, a material which gets decomposed through the natural process such as the action by the bacteria is known as biodegradable material. So, we will always prefer a plastic which is biodegradable. At the same time, a material which is not easily decomposed by the natural process 
is termed as non-biodegradable. So we have a wide varieties of plastic available in the market. We will always prefer the plastic which has the sticker of that green symbol which state it is recyclable. Now plastic and environment you can see here the table that what all kind of waste and how much time they take and the nature of the material. So you can see the highest time is taken by the plastic bag which is the several years they take to de degenerate and so the nature of the material is non-biodegradable and you see the peels of vegetables and fruit or the leftover food they take hardly one to two weeks for degeneration so they are quite biodegradable material. At the same time you can see the other materials like paper, cotton cloth, wood, woolen clothes, tin, aluminium and other metals. You might see that the metal take hundred of years to get de uh, degenerate. So they also come in the category of non-biodegradable. So we should always choose our materials wisely because if we will throw directly we should know that how long it will take to biodegrade them or to degrade them. So plastic you will always prefer which is recyclable because if you will take the plastic which is non-recyclable that will take a millions of years to degenerate and that may spoil our environment because this kind of plastic either you throw on the soil or land or in the water they are going to remain as it is and will affect our ecosystem and the animals who are residing over there. You might have seen sometime cows eating plastic out of garbage which is not good for the animals because this plastics are nothing but the chemicals and whenever this kind of plastic bag or plastic wrappers are eaten by animal like cow they get stuck to their intestine and the digestive system and further it may lead to a severe a severe condition in those animals. So you should be very mindful while throwing this kind of wrappers or plastic garbage to the on the road. You should always segregate your green waste, red waste and the blue waste that is green waste is the vegetable waste, red waste is the your e-waste something like batteries, some uh, mobile phones kind of waste you. So Apart from green and red waste, we have the blue waste in which we will throw all our plastic and items which are made out of plastic. So this way you will segregate the three kinds of waste which is the green waste, red waste and the blue waste. This will help the government authority to segregate a kind of waste and further recyclement. Now let's talk about the plastic and the environment. Now already we have talked a lot on plastic, there are certain plastic which can be recycled, there are certain plastic which cannot be recycled. So we will always choose the plastic which are easy to recycle or in a, in a, in a short we will choose the plastic which are biodegradable and they are called environment friendly plastic because they do not cause any environmental pollution. When non-environment friendly plastics are used on burning them they cause uh, air pollution they even release a lot of poisonous gas into the environment and they will not burn completely so they will also spread the ashes of residuals that may further cause some respiratory diseases so we will always prefer the environment friendly plastic which will burn completely and which will not cause any kind of air pollution and which will not release any poisonous fuse into atmosphere and cause any kind of air pollution. Now plastic and the environment in that further we will discuss that that we have already talked about the three practices that the first practice that is you will always make sure that you carry a cotton or the jute bag and you will avoid the use of plastic bag. Second you will always choose a biodegradable uh, plastic which is uh, which can be easily recyclable which is recyclable and you will avoid non-biodegradable waste. Also at the same time you will not collect both kind of waste together. As we have discussed about the green, red and blue waste 
we will segregate the type of waste into different types of dustbin so it is easy to recycle those kind of waste it is better to recycle the plastic waste most of the thermoplastic you can recycle but at the same time it is very tough to recycle thermo setting plastic so we will make sure that we do not use so much of thermosetting plastic or we use thermosetting plastic wisely suppose i buy a chair i will use it for the years it's not that this year i have bought the chair next year i'll throw it and buy the new one because that will end up to leading a more and more non biodegradable waste to the environment now these are the four r that one has to keep in their mind which is reduce reuse recycle and recover that means that you will reduce the use of plastic and plastic item you will again and again use that plastic item under reuse category recycle wherever it is possible you will recycle the thermo plastic and a polythene and you should recover or regenerate that means you will not throw your plastic in the environment you will try to make something best out of waste so develop this habit which are environment friendly so this kind of question can be asked that state and explain the four types of r which are related to plastic and environment now these are the three advice given by the government to us do not throw plastic bag in the water bodies or on the road we discussed that how they are harmful to the animals take cotton carrying bag Uh, while going for shopping and try to minimize the use of plastic material and try that if you can use some other materials uh, instead of plastic now these are the keywords acrylic artificial silk nylon plastic polyester polymer polythene rayon synthetic fiber terylene thermoplastic thermo setting plastic so all this keyword what i want is that you write in your own understanding in your notebook from the uh, presentations or the ppts that we have given to you or from the textbook or even from the ncert folder provided to you this kind of questions can be asked in examination in form of short question answers define or in the like uh, state the difference between thermoplastic or thermo setting plastic or they can uh, even ask a question like what are the characteristics of the artificial uh, artificial or the synthetic fiber or state the uses of synthetic fiber so you can you uh, state the uses like rayon and nylon uses you can also state their characteristics so this kind of questions can be asked in examination kindly prepare all this keyword and their understanding and their brief note in your notebook further if you have any question you can revert it to back uh, during our online sessions i hope you have understood the chapter 3 in detail you can read it through your textbook you can go through all three parts of presentation and you can write it back with any query if you have i hope you have enjoyed we'll see you for the next chapter very soon bye thank you